What's up guys, I'm back and I got another Razer Edge Pro video for you. Um, we're going to be looking at PS2, um, the save and load state options, and we're going to use Maximo as an example. Now, this is generally how I have Maximo um, and most of my PS2 games. I have it running in uh, uh, Direct3D9, an aggressive uh, CRC hack, two times native, or three. Um, and what you're going to notice is when you go here, oh, let me just close this. Now, what you're going to notice is when you want to save and load a state, it tells you what button it is. It's F3. Now, an F1 is a uh, save state, F3 is load state. So what I have here, if you look, I got this app called XPatter. And what it basically does, it max F3 and F1 to a button. Now, in Maximo, particularly, you don't use uh, uh, L3 and R3, which is the analog stick buttons that you press. So I put load state on R3. So whenever I want to load a state, I just click R3 and save state on F1. Now it's very important to make sure that you don't have that you uh, get used to load state being on one side, your right side, and save state being on your left, or vice versa, because you don't want to end up dying and then saving state of the death by accident and like oh god you know which has happened to me before um i use this uh setting for stuff that if i'm on the train and i'm playing a game like maximo for example um you know and it's my stop coming up you want to quickly load state just in case you lose data when you turn it off and now another thing is uh maximo doesn't seem to have uh, uh frequent saves so load and save state is very useful in maximo when I go to Maximo um, of course this game plays uh, you're gonna be able to play like nearly all the games the problem is Maximo I haven't figured out how to save in this game yet and I had this original game on PS2 still do but uh, I don't know how to save it anyway so I got load state on one button click load state and this is where I'm at this is the second world you know, so it's like I already in, beat a whole world in the game and still don't know how to save it. It's pretty sad. Um, so, like, you get hit and then you just load state and you end up back. It doesn't take any time at all. So that's that little uh, less than a second time gap. Let's say you make a mistake and you go into a level you don't want to go into or you got killed or you fell into a bridge. You know? Let's say this guy hits me. Oh. And go right back wherever you want to go. Oh, I just ran out of magic. Anyways, this quickly, you can use it. Uh, in any game there's no time in between um, so that helps out anyway Maximo is very easily runnable I wasn't going to make a video on this but I do play this game uh, and Maximo has a lot of obstacle courses just like uh, Kingdom Hearts where if you miss a ledge you have to do a whole thing over again and uh, that load state is really useful. But you don't want to kill the fun of the game either by loading state every five minutes. But if it's something real tragic, like you lose all your powers or something happens, something like that, then you know you can just uh, load state. Or if you did something really stupid, just save state often, you know? And then you can just load from whatever you save. Now, this only works with one state. I don't know how to do the other states. Never needed to. I stick on one uh, on one state, so it's like the default state. The lowest state from a button, another way, this probably is another way, I just don't know it. 
But that's Maximo running on a Razor Edge Pro. Um, actually, I can get it to run better than this. It's running good, but sometimes frames are dropping. The problem is I was modifying this version of uh, of a PS2 emulator for a different game, and I don't remember the exact settings I had for this. But well, it plays great, um, but it could play better. I've played it better, so. Alright, guys. Like, I just lost my armor. I need that back. No, it's late. Alright, thanks for watching.